So in evaluating expressions, you are uh, substituting in a value for one of the variables. In simplifying expressions, you're simply going to combine like terms and uh, rewrite the uh, overall expression. Okay. So your steps are first to apply any rules of algebra. Okay. So in this particular case, uh, we want to get rid of our grouping symbols. Okay. So when you when you get rid of grouping symbols, so apply any rules of algebra. Uh, we're going to call it expand the expression. And so expand means to turn it into just a set of terms. So there shouldn't be anything being multiplied or factors being mul multiplied. Okay, and so in this particular case, when we expand this, we're going to use what property? The distributive property. So negative 6 times y. When I distribute my 4, what I'm going to do with this is uh, you have a choice to kind of stack it vertically or horizontally. I would, if you're doing it by hand, I'd stack vertically. It just, uh, if we put the 4y in line with the other y terms, put the negative 4 in line with the constant terms, and then just combine down your column. You get negative 6y plus 4y nets you negative 2y. And then the 12 minus 4 nets you a plus 8. And so you get your expression negative 2y plus 8. And one of the things that you um, are going to be responsible for at some point is uh, the standard form of writing expressions. And normally when you write an expression, you're going to write the variables first. The variables will occur in alphabetical order. So A's come before B's, and B's before C's, and so on. X's before Y's, and so on. And, and then you write your constants last. So this is written in standard form right now. So this is how you would enter your answer online. Now let's see what happens if we use our calculators. <clears throat> so you can simplify expressions using your TI-89 very simply. Just copy what you have, hit enter, and it should simplify it for you. Okay, so if we're looking at this expression, we have a negative 6 times the quantity y minus 2. Again, I'm just going to copy it exactly as it appears, plus 4 times the quantity y minus 1. And when it closes off, I'm going to hit enter, and it gives me my answer, 8 minus 2y. Is there a difference between those? Is, is this any different than 8 minus 2y? No, they're exactly the same, right? They're just, the terms are switched, but it's still a positive 8 and a negative 2y, positive 8, negative 2y. And what I would prefer, I want you to get into the habit of writing your answers in standard form. I think I try to make sure when I enter like homework answers and stuff that they are all entered that way. If for some reason uh, you take a, a quiz or a test and um, you enter this form and it says it's wrong and then you switch it, just switch the terms and, and it says it's right, let me know. I'm not going to, the only time I'm going to penalize you is if it specifically says or if we're working on the part involved in uh, writing in standard form. And if that happens, I'm going to take away very few percentage points. So if you think that happens, let me know, and I can go and change it and, and make sure that I have both acceptable forms.